Uh, my name is Sean Abbey. I'm an Executive Service Corps member with 501 Commons. And the last couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to work uh, with members of staff on a King County uh, Employment Engagement Survey, which normally takes us many months, and it's a lot of data analysis from a survey. Um, and uh, we build a report, as you might imagine, with a lot of statistics and a lot of graphs, and then we hand off the report to King County. Um, after uh, this last time, it, it occurred to me that it, it made more sense if we could somehow uh, give more life to the data and let uh, more people have access to how the data is being used and, and what the data is actually saying, uh, specifically with the lens that they want to um, put on it. Um, so um, I asked the staff if there was anybody who had some more advanced uh, uh, tool analysis than I have with data science. And we were lucky enough to have Ali Khan raise his hand and join join the project. The goal was to try to unveil some things that often when we're reading surveys like this, we have hunches, but we have no way to kind of prove our hunches. We sort of think that longer tenured uh, employees might be more satisfied with their pay, um, but we don't have any way to really, um, you know, get into the, the detail of that or to demonstrate or show that in a way that could cause nonprofits to take action, which really is the purpose of the survey. We don't do the survey just to gather the data. We're trying to change the way that employees uh, experience um, employment in the nonprofit sector. So I, by Ali Khan stepping forward with, with his skills and his willingness to go on a journey with us that was very much a discovery process because we knew we wanted something that was dynamic and useful, but we had no idea how to make that thing appear in the in the real world. <laughs> and so partnering with somebody who had the skills and the patience and the, um, you know, the sort of uh, attitude towards a discovery process like Ali Khan really is what made this project uh, successful. The concept with the Power BI dashboard is to basically be able to take uh, complex data sets. So sometimes it could be coming from more than one source or like more than one different types of data and bring it together into one database um, and then being able to show that um, in some form of visual. It could be one visual, it could be more, typically it's more than one visual um, where then the user can kind of start to play with things and interact with that data, like clicking on one like category of the data and like seeing how it affects everything else. Um, and that's sort of the goal is that so that like multiple users can come in and play with this data and gain their own insights um, from the data based on their own unique experiences and what part of the data actually matters to them. Um, so that's kind of the goal. It's built, it's sort of like, a, it's a version type of like, it's like Excel, but it kind of takes the PowerPoint visualization aspect to it um, and brings it, like, brings it together um, so that users can kind of interact with that data. Yeah, so here you can see that like we can filter how individuals responded by question type whether it was favorable or not favorable depending on their like organization size so someone who's like 26 to 50 employees or 100 to 999 employees and like how satisfaction sort of changes depending on the organization size uh another um aspect of this database is if you look on the left at sector um, you can see that we can also look at how things might be different in the arts versus in human services how the results might be different one thing i'll note um, because you're seeing this on the screen as we look at different results is most of the screen is green on the on the uh, factors that we're looking at <clears throat> and in fact across the survey nonprofit employees are generally extremely happy with their um, with their employment. It's a legacy product of, for our community, but it's a legacy product for the nonprofit sector uh, overall because nothing like this exists. It's built on a um, product that somebody previously won an award for, which is our climate survey, which we've been doing for um, about 15 years. Um, uh, with nonprofits. And so we, it's there's a deep expertise behind it. Ali Khan has added his deep expertise to make the data useful in a in a, a new way. And so I think the the legacy is both the way the project happened and the results of the project and the future of the project as we go forward and do the next two um, surveys um, for King County and continue to provide the data and continue to prompt nonprofits to use the data to improve 
how they work with their employees and improve the engagement and satisfaction of their employees. Dashboards are super effective when you like need to regularly interact with dynamic data. Um, so if you have complex data sets that need multiple views to kind of really process and understand what that data is and is trying to tell you, like a dashboard is a great way to kind of do that. It's also a great way if you really want to get other people at your organization involved, like people that may not have specialties in data or in like numbers or in finance, but like this way a dashboard can kind of give those folks a way to like digest the data and really like generate like solutions and inputs for your organization, um, like from perspectives that like otherwise would kind of be like marginalized. Um, so I think that's like a great reason for doing a dashboard. Well, I just, I particularly love something that I kind of just said, which is it, the value of a dashboard to help to facilitate perspectives that might be marginalized. I just love that concept, right? Yeah. That That's a, a great way to describe, I think, the problem that we have with often an overwhelm of data, but a lack of discernment, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and that the discernment process can often be owned by people who are the data experts when there are other people who actually have a voice and have input that uh, could be very valuable uh, to that discernment process. So. Thank you for that phrase. That's um, that's really quite lovely and and very much represents the success of this um, of this uh, project. 